won an Emmy for her portrayal of FBI Special Agent Dana Scully on The X-Files. Now she's the woman behind the infamous Captain Ahab in Encore's original movie, Moby Dick. Take a look. He isn't just another whale, though, is he? He went for you. They don't do that. It's not natural. He's old, he's angry. He doesn't get enough attention from females. So we have something in common. Please welcome oh. Jillian Anderson. I know. We like to keep it real here at the yeah. top. I can see that. Uh, talk to me about X Files because it was on for nine seasons. You shot the thing. Yeah. And I heard somewhere that just as the series was really taking off, you almost got fired. Uh, <laughs> true, not true. Well, I, I, I started the series when I was 20. No, I started when I was 24, and um, which is quite young. And I was kind of plucked from obscurity. I'd done next to nothing before that. And it was a big deal for Fox um, to hire somebody who they've never heard of before. And, and the executive producer, Chris Carter, had, uh, had fought for me to get the role. And, um, and then within the first year of shooting, uh, I got pregnant. And um, at the time, my reaction was uh, uh, shock and horror that I was hearing rumors that they might want to get rid of me. But you know, in retrospect, I mean, what was I thinking? I, I, that was, I, it was, it was potentially a hit show for Fox. And, um, and it was getting a lot of attention and it looked like, um, you know, that this, the amount of shows that are, that are started, that are not picked up, that are written, and everybody's hopeful sure. that things, and it was, you know, and I think, I think um, in retrospect, it feels like a, a much bigger deal. I, I kind of get um, where Why they might they were have been upset. coming from at the time. Yeah. 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 Now, when you finished, well, first of all, I have to tell you that my son used to have a huge poster of you in his bedroom <laughs> with a badge. You were holding a badge. <laughs> it's quite fabulous. But, um, when you finished... I hope it was an FBI badge. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was. Okay. Um, when you finished The X-Files, mm. you moved to England. Mm -hmm. Why England? Um, I'd grown up there. I, grew, I was there from the age of 2 to 11. And when the series was coming to a close, the thought of being on a set again felt like the worst idea I could have. I just, I, I'd been doing it for such a long time, and, um, or felt to me. And uh, I had been trying to do theater for a long time, and um, I never quite had enough time in the hiatuses to, to do something. Mm -hmm. And so I scheduled myself to do a play in London. And, um, and uh, when I went to start rehearsals, I, you know, fell in love with the city again. I, uh, I fell in love with somebody at the time. And, um, and I ended up kind of making my life there. Because your accent is very kind of... It's, I, it's really hard for me sitting in front of you right now to not pick up on your... Like, what do you want to say? Let it, let it no, out. No, no. <laughs> you, want, you want to speak like her, right? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I, I go back to Queens. I'm like, how you doing? Yeah. Yeah, no, I, get it. I totally get it. It's true. I'm like, my hair gets thick. Anyway, um, let's talk about Moby Dick, because yeah. in this uh, new adaptation of Encore, you play, we just showed a clip, um, William Hurt plays Captain Ahab. Mm -hmm. You're his uh, wife. Mm -hmm. Why did you take on this role? Well, um, I think, first of all, it was to work with William Hurt. I mean, the big chill. Wow. Body heat. I mean, do you guys remember? Oh, yes. And then there was William Hurt, the actor. He's an extraordinary actor. And, um, and I'd always been fascinated by the story. I, I'd never, I didn't know it that well, but there were, um, in the X-Files, uh, Scully's mom, uh, sorry, dad refers to her as Starbuck, and 
and she had a dog called Queequeg for a while, and those are characters in Moby Dick. So there was a lot of there was a lot of fascination in that. Now you are the co-founder of an organization called Say Yes. Mm. Now tell us about that. Well, um, a friend of mine uh, in London came to me a few years ago and um, uh, said that she was going to go to South Africa and she was thinking about setting up a charity. And there's a situation there, which I think happens uh, in a lot of countries, whereby uh, youth that are in care at 18 lose funding because they're not kids anymore. But sometimes there's not necessarily the support <clears throat> and the education to help them make the transition into independent living from being in care. And so we've started up a charity uh, called SAYES, which is S-A-Y-E-S, which is South Africa Youth Education for Sustainability. And what it does is it provides mentors for the last year of being in care and the first year of being out of care for um, the youth who are making the transition. So and they're it's, not just dumped. So they're not just dumped. And we've had the most unbelievable success rate with, um, with young men going into universities and colleges or getting jobs and stuff like that. But it's teaching them how to use computers, how to use washing machines, how to life open a bank skills. account, life skills that they may not... Get. And this is the first uh, healthy adult relationship that they've had. And it's, uh, it's, it needs a lot of support. We're in our uh, first couple of years, and um, um, we're, you know, every month we're just kind of making it by. And, um, but, we, you know, we need, uh, we need support. Well, let's do what we can to help you out with Say Yes. We'll give, it, we'll give out the information on our website. Okay. Jillian Anderson, thank you thank so you. much for coming thank on. You. premieres Monday night at 8 on Encore. Again, go to our website to find out more about Say Yes. We'll be right back.